Hello everyone, I hope you all had a great week. So today I'm going to be talking you through my top 10 style tips to easily create those truly elegant neutral outfits this winter. So if you're wondering how to update your neutral looks this season, or maybe you're just looking for some really effortless yet easy to put together outfit ideas and inspiration, this video should help. I also feel very honored that a portion of today's video is supported by one of my favorite brands, Jenny Kane, the queen of effortless chic herself. So I'm really looking forward to sharing what I chose a little bit later in this video. So let's get into it. Style tip one. So I want to start with a tip that I think is perfect to have in mind when shopping your own wardrobe, and that is to think tonally, not matching. Pull out all the pieces from your wardrobe that sit within one color palette. For example, beige, browns, or camels. Even having them separated on a different rail or even just one side of your wardrobe can really help you to see what you actually have to be able to create those neutral outfit ideas. It's almost like a, a mini capsule wardrobe, if you like. And then from there, you can mix and match your outfit ideas to your heart's content. So I've added my classic trench coat to channel a little bit of that Parisian aesthetic, which you know I love. Some gold jewelry as this metal really complements the warm beige tones that I've gone for. And overall, hopefully you agree, I have one very simple but elegant and incredibly timeless neutral look. Style tip two. Now it's important to point out that neutrals don't have to be plain. I really consider my herringbone coat, for example, which I wore so much last autumn winter, to very much sit within that neutrals bracket. So I would look for understated patterns within your neutral wardrobe, as I think that would really help you create depth and interest into those outfits. Now this is especially true in the form of a coat or perhaps a blazer, where it can be the focal point of your outfit, whether that be herringbone, pinstripe, or maybe a subtle leopard print even. You could think about introducing some of those neutral prints into your outfit ideas too. Now I personally like to wear mine with complementary tones and just contrast those fabrics or even think about adding a neutral print with those little touches like a lovely scarf perhaps for a really cozy finishing touch. I've added a few favorites that I found recently across the high street along with all of my outfit links in today's video in the description box below. The combination of the wool coat, the fluffy knit, the leather accessories, and along with a faint herringbone print, all help to make my look feel really elevated and chic as a whole. Style tip three. Now it's really helpful to remember to play with textures as this will help your neutral outfits feel that extra bit luxurious, chic, and elevated. Especially as we come into autumn, whether it be with shirling or perhaps faux fur, silk, wool, cashmere, the list is endless. There are so many beautiful luxe textures to have a bit of a play with. And layering is of course always your best friend this season. So for this reason, I love to have a shirling coat in my collection to pull out every single autumn winter. By adding this coat to some beautifully cut, say straight leg jeans, maybe a pair of leather ankle boots and a gorgeous soft cashmere knit, I have an everyday outfit that just feels and looks very polished, but also at the same time while I'm doing that, it's very cozy and comfy. Now another quick and easy style tip would be to layer a lovely knit over your shoulders while you're wearing your leather jacket. It adds that visual warmth to the look simply because you've got another texture and a tone perhaps in the mix. Or choosing a scarf that's a different fabric to your clothing, so maybe mohair or cable knit for example, it just adds an extra layer of interest when you pop it on with your leather jacket or perhaps a coat. I really appreciate you watching today's video and for those who are regulars to my channel, welcome back. I'm very glad you're here. I post styling videos and outfit ideas once, sometimes twice per week on YouTube. As as always, it is totally free to subscribe and it is always wholeheartedly appreciated. Style tip four. Neutral outfits really don't have to be boring. Using the silhouette of the outfit can be a really gorgeous way to create an interesting outfit this autumn winter. Now I don't wear extremely exaggerated cuts, but I do like a slightly padded shoulder in my blazer just to really balance out, say if I'm wearing a slimmer pair of jeans or vice versa, a more fitted top if I'm wearing my wider leg trousers. Play with proportions to make your outfit it, not only feel more flattering to your body shape, but also to make it more interesting to the eye as well. Now, actually, I removed some of the padding in the shoulders of this red blazer recently to just make them feel a little bit less overwhelming. So don't be afraid to alter your clothes to fit in with your body shape. Simple alterations like this can help you find the most flattering way to style your own silhouette. Style tip five. 
Now, when it comes to styling neutral outfits this winter, there are a few doing it better than Jenny Kane. So it's an absolute pleasure to share what I chose this month. Now, if in doubt, I always think it's a good idea to stick with those elevated basics. And this is never more important than wearing a fully neutral outfit. So take this timeless cashmere jumper that I'm wearing, for instance. Now, I've chosen to go for this one in ivory, but if that's too dark for you, you could also go for a beautiful charcoal gray. They've got a lovely caramel and also a dark dark olive if you prefer. So with those elevated basics, there's no hiding behind a bold color or a busy print. By pairing it all back, you'll not only naturally feel more polished and chic, but you will look it too. Nothing looks more effortless than when you're dressed simply but beautifully in your go-to wardrobe staples. Outfit two. So in this second look with the relaxed cashmere polo, I wanted to share how you can layer up your neutral tones as well. Reaching for a concoction of subtle shades that are all different but sit beautifully together as they're all within that same color palette. And just thinking about all those points we mentioned before, playing with textures and, and being really mindful of the overall silhouette can have a lovely effect on your outfit in the end. Now you may remember a few weeks ago, I shared these absolutely gorgeous Sherling lined mules. I went for these in the camel, slightly walnut tone, I suppose. Well, I loved those so much, I very happily added another pair to my capsule wardrobe. Let me just grab them and I'll show you. Now, although both have proper soles so you can wear them outdoors, this time I opted to go without the Sherling lining so that they felt a bit more like traditional mules, I suppose. And I went for them in this beautifully light tone of olive. Now these are in short, one ridiculously comfy pair of shoes and I think they're giving off those luxury laid-back California kind of vibes which is very much my own personal style. Outfit four. Now I think it's hard to pinpoint what it is about a certain brand that we love so much as it's often about all the little details added together that just creates that special something that we're all looking for. This outfit right now for instance is me very much in my happy place. I feel elegant and I feel polished and all the outfits feel luxurious but in a beautiful understated kind of fashion. I personally don't want all singing and dancing logos all over me and, and I don't really like anything to fit me skin tight or have cleavage popping up. I just like to look refined and be comfortable and that's what in my humble opinion Jenny Kane do really really well. Now this jumper and these beautiful shoes are just two beautiful pieces from a huge selection of very elevated staples that I would very happily add into my own basket. So at the end of this video please do click the link in the description box below and take a look at their full collection online for yourself. And of course, if you're in the market for spoiling yourself, I've added my exclusive discount code below for you too. Style tip six. Now, another tip is to remember your overall look isn't just your clothing. Shoes, accessories, jewelry, and even hair and makeup can play a huge part in how your neutral outfit will look overall. If you pair a black bag and a red lipstick with a beige outfit, it will be a much harsher contrast than if you went for a pink or a nude lip and say a brown handbag. Now this is not to say that's incorrect in any way, but it will change the overall look. So it is really important to consider those details when you're planning your outfits. You don't need a whole wardrobe wardrobe of different accessories to match all of your outfits, just ensure you have a few that sit well within the pieces you've already got. Now I know a lot of people always reach for a black handbag and I'm guilty of this a lot as well, but in recent years I've tried to expand out a little bit and go for these softer tones of browns and a cruise that really help you enable those neutral outfits a little bit more effortlessly. Style tip seven. Now something I've spoken about before and a great tip actually for creating neutral outfits or any outfits for that matter is to create yourself an outfit formula and by this I mean a go-to combination of pieces or styles that you know work together well for you and your lifestyle this can end up making you feel even more chic elevated and polished with minimal effort which is what I'm all about <laughs> So for me, this might be my straight leg jeans, a jumper, some flat shoes, and a lovely overcoat. These pieces in themselves give me endless outfit opportunities. I could create a Parisian style look by choosing blue jeans and a Breton knit, maybe with my ballet pumps and a camel overcoat. Or for a smarter option, I could pair it with my loafers, my black jeans, and maybe a gray coat. Or I could go really casual and add in my trainers, maybe a sweatshirt and a cropped coat instead. And once you have your own outfit formula sorted, you can then wax lyrical with all the different outfit ideas you could make with those particular pieces. 
Style tip eight. Now autumn is of course the perfect time of year to really enjoy playing around with layering. It's a great way to get the most out of your summer wardrobe too. So for me personally, I would start with maybe a basic t-shirt, or if it's really cold, I would probably add a thermal underneath. Then maybe a classic crew neck, making sure you can just see that trim of the t-shirt underneath for a little bit of added interest. Now I would layer in a longer necklace sitting just below the neckline to really draw the eye to that area even more. Then I would finish with my long wool coat, not needing to tie it up of course, because I already have all those layers underneath keeping me warm. And then the bonus of course is leaving those subtle but effective details on show even more. Now when it's colder, you could take it a step further and layer a blanket or a skinny scarf over the top of that coat. Again, I would probably wear it loose so that my layers look obvious and intentional underneath. But overall, you've got all those lovely textures and tones and details to make the outfit feel so much more intricate. Style tip nine. Another option would be rather than think of a tone or a collection of colors, focus solely on one color instead. Now, unlike a selection of different shades from the same color palette that I showed you at the beginning of this video, this time going for as near to the same tone as you possibly can. So for example, we'd look at gray, which is having a huge moment this autumn winter 2023. The autumn catwalks were of course awash with gray from the likes of Fendi to Miu Miu, Prada, and many, many more. Gray was definitely one of the colors of the season. So in a similar way to what I spoke about before. So for me, I would create the outfit around these really luxurious looking gray trousers that I have, which I like to create a lot of outfit ideas around. I think you might have seen them an awful lot over on Instagram too. So for this particular look, I'm going to pair them with a beautiful cashmere gray crew neck and my gray herringbone blazer. So with this look, I might choose some silver jewelry to just further tap into that gorgeous gray palette or silver hard wear with my belt or an accessory. The closer the tones are, the better in this particular look, but obviously I've had to work with what I've got in my own wardrobe. And probably the easiest way to do a very tonal look would be with winter whites, which is also one of my personal favorites. Style tip 10. So my last tip is to tailor your neutrals to the particular season. And by this I mean, as we come into autumn winter, we're naturally thinking of gorgeous rich camel tones, burnt oranges, chocolate browns, and thanks to the catwalks, red is also having a really big moment right now too. Although of course it's not strictly a neutral, I do like adding a pop of it into my own outfit ideas. Introducing some of this color palette into your own wardrobe at this time of year is a great way to feel really aligned with the changing of the seasons and it's particularly on trend too. Now if you wear neutrals all year round, it can also help you feel like you're adding a point of difference in your wardrobe throughout the year as well. Although I am particularly loving all my soft pastel tones at the minute, I'm also really excited to to introduce some of those caramel knits and those warmer tones that I've already got in my wardrobe have been in the attic and I'm excited to get them back down and wear them again for another season. And of course, I will never argue with a winter white look from head to toe, even though I know it's not the most practical choice in the world. I do love that look. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Hopefully it's given you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. Creating beautiful, simple, and very chic neutral outfits is something which you can probably tell I am very passionate about. It's very me, it's my kind of look, and it just makes me feel hugely comfortable. So I'm hopeful a little bit of that enthusiasm for neutral outfits has inspired you to try some of these looks out yourself. Also, don't forget to take a look at that beautiful new autumn winter collection from Jenny Kane. Elegant and really elevated staples made from beautiful fabrics is something I will always champion. So the links to have a look at the collection in full is in the description box below. Have a wonderful week, everyone big hugs and I'm looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments section.